Welcome back. 622 now on Daybreak, and we are celebrating oh. Western New York in a, a delicious way this morning. Hey, Kev. Oh, I, I, I'm here with the grillologist Kathy, and I was telling her, and I'll tell you guys, back me up. You could blindfold me and walk me into a Ted's, and I will know where I am by the smell. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. what is that? Not uncommon. Yeah. Um, we hear that all the time. Even when I get out of my car, I'm smelling them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you and must I'm get used it all the time. Yes, every day. You'll be, you'll be walking around going to 7-Eleven. Yeah. People just, oh. <laughs> my As God, a, your perfume is amazing. It's amazing. As uh, a, okay, what, what, so, but it's smelling the charcoal. It's a charcoal. It's a mixture of the uh, hardwood charcoal that we're using, you know, good quality meat that we have cooking for you, mm -hmm. and uh, the aroma. Is it, why, why don't my hot dogs at home taste like your hot dog? Uh, you're probably putting the meat on the grill when it's too cold. You got to take your time when you cook a hot dog. Really? Yes, take your time. Okay. You're going to want to use the natural heating method of the charcoal. Okay. <clears throat> that creates a cooler zone over here that you can warm the hot dogs up in. Uh -huh. And then like a conveyor belt, you're just going to move them along. And then you're going to move them along to higher heat, higher I've heat, higher that heat. When you go to yes. the heads, that there are different sort of like, you, there's a there are a bunch on the grill sort of warming up. Yeah, staging we like to call it. Absolutely, that's staging. it. Staging. Yes, yes. And by the time you get these hot dogs, these beauties up over the open flame, mm -hmm. now you're at this stage where you can get them as brown as you like or burnt light however you eat them i could not believe that ted's has been around for so long 91 years isn't that amazing 90, it's absolutely amazing the history is is remarkable how it all began under the peace bridge at uh, massachusetts ave mm -hmm. yeah it's a remarkable story uh, you, this is the, this is the newest store this is the newest location uh, yes mm -hmm. how, do you know how many there are I, I sure do we have nine locations in buffalo one food truck uh, one location in tempe arizona and a second one opening in chandler next year i, I have relatives who when they fly in from Florida, the first thing they do is go to Ted's. It's amazing. They can't get a decent hot dog in Florida? No, no, you hard pressed anywhere else in the country. Yep. Um, we hear that story about the airport all the time. It's everyone's first stop as soon as they get off the plane. Okay, uh, summer solstice, guys. We're going to celebrate with some Ted's hot dogs off the grill. I'm going to do, what do, you, what, what do you guys want in your toppings? Melissa, Pete, Patrick, go ahead, shoot. Ketchup, mustard, onion, hot sauce, please. Chili cheese Ketchup, and onions. mustard, and hot sauce for Melissa. Ketchup, mustard, hot sauce. And onions. What do you want, Peter? Chili cheese and onions. And onions on Melissa's, too. <laughs> I know. He all has right, to write this All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get those all. I, I, I will walk those over to you guys, okay? Wait, whoa, whoa. Melissa, text Wait, me with your order. Patrick what? I'll drop them off. During, during, during Patrick's well, long weather, you guys can munch on some Ted's hot dogs. <gasps> this text is the best morning order. ever. I'll, I'll walk them on over. <gasps> Patrick, what do you want? Mustard only. Mustard only on the hot we, dog. We have Ted coming next half hour. I'm going to talk to uh, Ted about his grandpa's history. And we have some cool video, some pictures of way back in the day of the original food truck on horseback. Awesome. Can't wait. Okay. You know I love black and white pictures. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>